Hey y'all, my name is Martin Mullalu and I'm a librarian with LA County Library. Today, we're going to talk about water wheels, what they are, how they work, and then we're going to do an activity where you create a water wheel of your own that works. It is possible that you have never seen a water wheel before. Um, they are most often associated with like old timey mills. Um, I have a picture of one right here that you can check out. Um, so oftentimes water wheels are pushed from below so they are sat on top of a river or a stream um, and the flowing water just naturally pushes the wheel along um, they can also be uh, fed water from above which makes them a little bit more efficient because you get the gravity pushing the wheel down as opposed to the stream or the river pushing the wheel forward we have evidence showing that water wheels have been around since uh, 2500 BCE. Um, Egyptians were the first people that we know uh, currently to have used them. We also have evidence that the some of the first colonizers of the United States, uh, the pilgrims, they were using water wheels in the 1600s to grind corn. The power produced by a water wheel depends on a couple of things. It depends on uh, where the water is coming from. So like I said, uh, if the water is coming from above, you're going to get a little bit more power. If it's coming from below, you're still going to get a good amount of power, but you don't have the gravity on your side. The earliest water wheels only generated about three horsepower, which is not a lot. Um, they weren't super efficient, um, but at the time they were pretty creative and inventive and helpful. Basically, the way a water wheel works is the water turns the wheel and then the wheel is attached to another thing that does what we want it to do, whether that's attached to uh, a grinder that grinds up corn or it's attached to a generator that creates power and electricity. Um, so the water wheel is just creating energy that is used elsewhere. Uh, I want you to know that there's a, a cool video on Canopy uh, that I'm going to show you how to get to here. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about how water is used uh, for different things, uh, including creating uh, electricity or um, just performing various tasks, uh, this video uh, on Canopy uh, that you can access with your library card is pretty cool. All right, so let's do an activity where you create a water wheel and test it out on your own. You're not going to need a whole lot of stuff for this. Um, you're going to need some scissors. You're going to need some glue. You're gonna need some duct tape uh, or some really strong uh, water resistant or waterproof tape. You're gonna need a stick. Um, this is probably long enough. You're gonna need two paper plates and you're gonna need at least four cups. Um, you wanna use uh, disposable cups or cups about this size. You want them to be light. Um, you can use plastic or you can also use paper ones. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to glue your paper plates together. You want to glue them, uh, the bottoms to each other. Um, you only want to glue the flat part to each other. You don't want to glue the edges together. Um, so you'll have, uh, depending on what plate you have, you'll have like an inch to an inch and a half of a paper plate that's not glued down. Um, we do want that. So just glue the flat bottoms to each other. Once the glue dries on your paper plates, you're going to make a small mark near the middle of your paper plate and you're going to use your scissors and create a hole in the middle of your uh, paper plates. Um, you want to go all the way through both of them. You also want to make sure that your hole is big enough for your stick. Um, so you want your stick to fit through and you want the paper plates to be able to turn freely around your stick. And remember, you can always make your hole bigger, but you can't make it smaller. So start small and work up. The last step is you're going to take your cups and you're going to nestle them in between your paper plates, but not all the way. Um, and you're going to tape them uh, to the paper plates. Um, you can see here I have them sticking out some. Um, you also don't want to put them too close together. I only put four in mine. I could have spaced them a little bit closer together, um, but you don't want them too close together because you want uh, the water to be able to get inside the cups. Um, so four, uh, I felt like was a good number. I could have maybe done one more, but let's try it out with four. 
All right, so here I am, I'm gonna try it out. Um, I cut my paper plates a little bit just so you can see it a little bit better. I also opted to use a paintbrush handle instead of the craft stick. I thought it might work a little bit better. Um, so I think it, this would work way better if I had a constant stream of running water like a hose or a faucet, but unfortunately uh, I, all I had to use was this mug. Um, it would work, it worked. Um, I could have spaced my cups a little bit more evenly and added one. So while my water wheel didn't turn out perfect, I think uh, with a little more time and adjustments, I could make it work really well. Um, also, if I did it with a faucet or a hose, uh, it would work even better, I believe. Um, so that's one of my favorite things about science is you're always learning and figuring out what works and what doesn't. Um, but I hope you enjoyed uh, making your water wheel and I hope that you check out that video on Canopy and uh, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all of our latest videos. Bye for now.